The Culture is an interstellar society that features in several of Ian M. Banks' space opera novels and other works of short fiction that are collectively known as the Culture series. Within the series, the Culture is a civilization of sentient beings composed of human and humanoid aliens, artificial intelligence sentient machines, and other sentient alien lifeforms. Machine intelligences range from human intelligence equivalent drones to hyper intelligent minds. Artificial intelligences with capabilities measured as a fraction of human intelligence also perform a variety of necessary tasks. The culture is a post-scarcity civilization, meaning it has no need for money. Instead, minds voluntarily indulge humanoid and drone citizens' pleasures, leading to what might be called a largely self-indulgent society. Manufacturing and maintenance is completely automated, and individual work and labour exist only as vehicles for personal fulfilment and enjoyment. The culture has a grasp of technology that is advanced relative to most other civilizations that share the galaxy. Most of the culture's citizens do not live on planets, but in artificial habitats such as orbitals and ships, the largest of which are home to billions of individuals. The culture's citizens themselves have been genetically enhanced to live for centuries and have modified control over their physiology, including the ability known as glanding, which allows them to flood a variety of psychoactive drugs into their systems. They can also change their biological sex or switch off pain receptors at will. Culture technology has the ability to transform individuals into greatly different physical forms, although the culture standard form remains fairly close to humanoid. While the culture holds peace and individual freedom as core values, a presiding characteristic of the culture is in its ambiguity. A central theme of Banks' series deals with the ethical struggle the culture faces when interacting with other societies, some of which mistreat their own members, pose dangers to other civilizations, or threaten the culture itself. It tends to make major decisions based on the consensus formed by its minds, and if appropriate, its citizens, in what could be called a direct democracy. Anyone can call for a referendum on practically any subject at any time. In contrast to the many interstellar societies and empires which share Banks' fictional universe, the culture is often difficult to define, geographically or sociologically, for a number of reasons. It was founded as a loose federation by spacefaring elements of seven or eight pan-human species. Planets comprise a minor part of the culture's territory, as orbitals provide a superior amount of living space, and the terraforming of planets is undesirable due to ecological harm. Its territory encompasses its memberships and habitats, which are interspersed widely throughout the galaxy with no claims to a continuous space. The culture has no formal laws in the sense you or I might think about them. Behaviour is regulated by generally accepted conventions and social norms. What is judged to be poor behaviour is discouraged by the threat of ridicule and ostracisation. A particularly insulting punishment is to not be called by one's chosen name. Violating taboos can lead to pariah status, although not eviction from the culture itself. The most serious taboo, unsurprisingly, is murder, which is defined as causing total brain death or personality loss. Murderers are offered therapy as well as assigned slap drones, which are robotic followers who ensure the person in question does not continue to endanger the safety of others. There are between 30 to 50 trillion culture citizens throughout the series, depending on the century, which includes individuals that are biological and or machine. Citizenship is given freely to anyone with a preference for the culture's way of life. The culture's modus operandi, rather than encouraging immigration or extensive incorporation of other civilizations, is to instead subtly guide less advanced civilizations to fulfill their potential according to the culture's definition of the term, often by secretly influencing politics and wars. When deemed appropriate, a division of the culture, known as contact, handles the assimilation of individuals, groups or entire civilizations into the culture. <laughs>